we have been uh, slowly uh, getting back out on the road and getting uh, to enjoy what it is that we do. As I'm sure most of you, we spent uh, last year pretty much doing nothing. Uh, in fact, when I count now, I don't even count 2020. We just go 18, 19, 21. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, but we've uh, just actually got home from being out in uh, Pennsylvania, Maryland area. We were gone for about four weeks. And we came home uh, specifically uh, because this one here in the middle is graduating high school here uh, in just another two weeks. And uh, so we're going to have her graduation. And then we're going to have her open house. And then, Lord willing, we're going to head back out on the road. I think we head for... Uh, I don't know, maybe North Carolina when we leave. <laughs> You're letting me down. You're supposed to be the one that keeps us on Southern Indiana. Southern Indiana. See, you did know. <laughs> but we're slowly getting back out and about, and we love the opportunity to be here with y'all. I'm pretty sure everybody here knows us, but if you've never seen us before, can I see your hand? Oh, look at that. We got a couple. Oh, well, good to see you. I'm glad y'all came out. And uh, we are Rusty Nail Crossing, but you can also call us the Macklemore family. And uh, we are together all the time. <laughs> so I get asked all the time, is this what you guys do? This is what we do year round. We travel around the country. Uh, often we're outdoors like this. Sometimes we're in festivals. We do a lot of church services and I preach a lot of revivals. And this is what the Lord's allowed us to do. And we just have a great time. And uh, I'm going to ask them if they wouldn't do a, an old primitive song for us. I think you guys will know this song. It's called Stay by the Brook. Church meetings and whatnot. 
but before we were ever doing that, uh, there was a gentleman that actually lived not too terribly far from here, um, that, that about a year ago passed away, but about 10 years ago, uh, he heard my children singing at a local bluegrass jam, just hanging out, having fun, and one thing led to another, and the next thing you know, he started coming around the house every week, and he'd teach them little fiddle tunes, and then he'd teach them harmony, and then he just for two years, he came every week, he'd spend two or three hours at my house, and just sharing what it is that he knew, and every time we try to do something for him, we try to pay him, or such as that, He'd say, the best way you'll ever pay me is just go share the music with other people. And I can tell you that the root of what we do, the heart of what we do, is just that. To take every opportunity to not only go share the music, but to use the music to share what it is that God's done for us. One of the first songs that he ever taught them how to play uh, is this song they're going to do for you now. And it says this simple thing, my Lord has taken good care of. still has a plan, and uh, he's better to us, at least better to me, than I deserve. And uh, I'm going to ask them if they wouldn't sing, uh, maybe not my favorite song, but certainly the song that speaks the most uh, to what it is he's done in my life. And this song simply says, God has been good. Oh, 
theme for a little bit. You hear me talk all the time if you're around me much about that idea, how good he's been. And I think uh, as a people, we don't spend enough time talking about the blessings of God. We, we wait for the big things to happen. And uh, honestly, I think we should just go ahead and praise him every day for every little thing. And uh, the fact that the sun is shining, we need praise him for it. The fact that we have an opportunity to be out and about, we need to praise him for it. I'm going to ask Miss Maggie if she wouldn't uh, step up and uh, belt this one out. Her and Abby used to argue over who gets to sing this song. I guess you won. I'm not real sure if that's how that <laughs> But she's going to sing a little bit about the blessings of God. The song simply says, count your blessings. Probably say it's always me, but it's never you. No, 
Now that could possibly be true because usually you're asleep before we hit the end of the driveway. So, you know, these are the only people I've ever met. They can get in the car, and by the time I hit the street, they're asleep. And it don't matter how long we're on the road, they don't wake up till they're either hungry or we get there, which is sometimes the same thing. Um, Dad's not really known for stopping on trips. My goal is to get there. And usually by the uh, time we arrive, there's whining and crying and people talking about being hungry and all that stuff, whatever. And uh, I say all that just to tell you that serving God uh, is a joyful thing if you allow it to be. It really is. You say, well, you don't know the troubles I've had or the struggles or the hardships. You know what? I, I don't. But he's still good, even in our hard times. And I have found out that as Christians, a lot of times we give up just short of watching God come through. And uh, a few years back, I started sharing this thought, and I think it's true, that if we'll spend more of our time thanking God for what he did for me yesterday, last week, last month, reach back as far as you want to reach back, just go ahead and thank him for what he's already done. When you get tired of doing that, thank him for what he's going to do tomorrow. Thank him for what's coming down the road, for the plans he's already made. And I'll give you the honest truth. By the time you get done thanking him for yesterday and praising him for tomorrow, you'll quit worrying about today. Amen. You'll quit worrying about today. And they're going to sing this song. It talks a little bit about that very idea. How the help that we need, I can honestly say, is usually sent before I ever had the problem. Y'all listen as they do this. Help is on the way.
for me. I'm going to pick this up a little bit, let them play a little bit of banjo for us. And uh, one of the greatest things that I can tell you <clears throat> about what God's done for me is He's taken all my sins, all my past, all my cares, all my worries, and He's done away with them. And if you're His child, I can assure you uh, that that's what He wants to do for you as well. And I'm going to ask them if they wouldn't uh, sing this song for me. It simply says this, Gone Away.
if uh, how many of you have ever looked around on YouTube to see if you could find us? Anybody? You bunch of stalkers. Um, no I'm kidding. Uh, but if you've ever looked on YouTube, there's quite a bit of stuff out there that uh, other folks have uploaded that have us in it. But I'm pretty confident that the highest viewed YouTube video that we have was actually shot at Colas uh, because it was the night that the base blew up. Uh, how many of you were there when the base blew up? Oh, yes. If, if you'll go look on YouTube, you will find. In fact, I think it says base blows up. Base go boom. Base go boom. Uh, and uh, it is, I'm pretty confident, our highest viewed video uh, on YouTube. And uh, <laughs> the song that we were playing when the bass go boom uh, was the song we're going to do for you now. And we'll see if we can't uh, keep that old bass in one piece. Uh, it is a 1940 what? 1946 K bass made right here in Chicago. And uh, it has been drug all around the country, both by us and two or three owners before us. We're taking donations. Yeah, we're taking donations, she says. You're not ready to give up your base. I mean, that's what made you YouTube famous, right? Uh -oh, that's okay. <laughs> but this song is uh, a song we love to play, and hopefully the bass will stay together for us this time. And uh, this is called I'm No Longer in Order. Proud of him, 
Uh, but Linda the other night was sitting on her phone. I don't know where she found it or how she found it, but uh, all of a sudden there were these two little bitty kids uh, standing on a stage with a with a garage sale guitar, um, singing. And I, I looked over to see who it was, and uh, lo and behold, it was my two little bitty kids that ain't so little bitty anymore. And uh, they were singing a song called "Lord, Thank You for Your Blessing." Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. And I remember the day that they got up and sang it for our church and uh, how touching it was and what it meant to us. And I can honestly say um, he's never quit blessing yet. All these years later and all the things we've been allowed to experience, and God's still blessing us. And I'm going to ask them if they wouldn't uh, gather up around their microphones and do that old song for me. Uh, I know it's not one we always do, but I think you guys can pull it off. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. through the most of it. 
And then I don't know if y'all were paying attention, but we had this little bitty thing last year in 2020 that kind of got everybody all uh, riled up. And uh, it just gave me a chance to reflect. And this may be where we're at right now, but this ain't where I'm going to end up. And uh, I got a buzzing place that I'm going to. Right now, I'm just visiting here. I'm just passing through. And uh, this, this old hymn we're going to do, uh, I think, speaks volumes. And what it is that we have to look forward to. If you know this, sing it along with us. Uh, this song is called What a Day.